I sell a candy and I'm on the cup. Just tell now this is a whole nother beat. I let the devil gon' try not bad enough. I guess the bubble gon' put in the sleeve and it's put him on stuff. I get a stand my nose, those enemies hitting at least. Bringing the pain, I'm on the chain. GZ broken now, I'm on the beat. Shit, my head was just felt like a rubber and put it through. Give me try to just talk it over. Give me my respect, little boy. This ain't disconnect, little boy. I'm connected to the most high, and y'all getting wrecked, little boy. Got it said I wreck, little boy. Ay, ay, ay. I got a passion for lashing and dashing and keeping my foot on the gas. All of the limits we hit last year, I guarantee there is a pass. Ay, we gon' take in the class. Ay, 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 yeah, yeah. I got some teammates, you know that they shoot. They shoot on the link, and I gave her the boot. I'm feeling the spirit, we bringing the truth. Punch game, ooh, wait, wait, wait. So where on earth has Kraken been? That is the question that I'm going to be answering today. Um, first off, just want to apologize for being gone for so long without any communication whatsoever. Um, I needed a deep breath and I will explain why and kind of what's going on. But real quick, I just want to thank you guys for the continued support. Um, the channel's still been growing somehow. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been like four months now since I've posted last, um, but it was needed and I'll explain why. So this channel has always been a love of mine. And when I started it, a lot of you guys know this, but I am a full-time videographer. It's what I do for a living. Um, so I work nine to five pretty well every day doing video. Now that being said, a lot of my clients, you know, they're corporate clients. It's, you know, maybe not the most creative or fulfilling work all the time. And that's where Kraken stepped in. Um, it was my outlet for creating cool, creative videos um, that I enjoyed making. I enjoy Airsoft, I enjoy video. Let's combine the two and make something special. And um, I feel like we achieved that. And the channel also started with me just going out and buying products that I thought were really cool and uh, sharing them with you guys, sharing my thoughts and opinions on what worked, what didn't work, that sort of thing. Now, as the channel grew and wow, it's amazing how much it's grown. I'm super thankful for every single one of you subscribers. Um, I appreciate you guys like crazy, but as the channel grew, companies all of a sudden wanted to get on the channel with their products and me just liking Airsoft and liking products. I was like, yes to everything. I said yes to everything. And that meant we got some really cool products on the channel that we could talk about, but it also meant that we got maybe some stinkers as well along the way. And I feel like Kraken was quickly being turned from a passion project into a business, marketing business channel sort of thing um, for Airsoft products that I wasn't 100% genuinely stoked on. Now that's not going to say that um, I don't like the products that I talked about and uh, I think they're crap and you should never buy them. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, I would never promote anything to you guys that I don't genuinely think is a pretty decent product. But there was definitely some products in there that me personally, I wouldn't have gone out and purchased myself. And once that happens, it was just becoming a transaction. It was, hey, I'll give you a video, you give me a product, and we'll go from there kind of a thing. It's just content, and it wasn't something that I was enjoying doing. And that led to some serious burnout. Unfortunately, YouTube hates my guts, and they don't pay me really anything at all. Um, so it was basically like I was doing a video shoot that I was doing in the day, but making like pennies to the dollar um, in comparison in terms of amount of money that I was making. So it really wasn't worth it financially 
for me to be making these videos and I wasn't fulfilled creatively anymore. So it was just like, what am I doing? So that is reason number one of kind of why I had to take a step back and just kind of figure that out for myself. And number two, this one is the bummer, the big blow, all right? So my home field, Siege Airsoft, is now closed. They closed as of like three days ago now, uh, January 31st. Um, we just had our last time there and it was amazing, but they're closed now. And that is what I would consider my home field. Uh, it's the bread and butter of the channel, the CQB indoor environment. Um, it's where the best edits, in my opinion, have come from. Um, and yeah, it's really sad to see that happen. So I found out about them closing kind of mid-December, I believe, um, right as I was getting motivated to come back on the channel and make some new videos for you guys. Um, right as that was happening, they announced they were gonna be closing end of January, and it was just like, you've gotta be kidding me. Uh, right as I was getting motivated again. But what can you do? So before we move on any further, just wanna give a big thank you to Siege Airsoft for the amazing years um, that you've supported me, um, but also the community. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And uh, you guys have been nothing but the best for this channel. Um, you guys have been really, really good to us. So we appreciate that. And we are sad to see you go. You will be missed. Rest in peace, Siege. Wow. Yeah, big blow, I know. So that being said, where do we go from here? I am getting more and more motivated every single day to make videos for you guys again. Um, I think we're just gonna have to reshape what we do here on the channel and just figure it out all over again. And uh, I'm excited for it. I've got some really cool ideas of where we can go. Um, the videos probably won't be as frequent as they used to be, like once a week or whatever. Um, things are busy with work too. Um, and again, YouTube does not pay me <laughs> at all. We will still be playing airsoft, outdoors mostly. Uh, there's really not too many CQB fields anywhere close to us at all. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a trek to get anywhere indoors, which will be interesting. Um, yeah, completely different. We're rethinking a lot of our kit um, and whatnot as well. So we'll see where things go, um, but I'm excited for the new year, excited for the future, and this is certainly not the end, but a different crack in going into 2023. Um, so I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I appreciate the support. You guys have been awesome every step of the way, and uh, I've got the best community here on YouTube, and uh, I really do believe that. So yeah. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We will see you in the next one, guys. Hope this gave you some insight as to what the heck's been going on here. We will see you in the next one, guys. Stay awesome. Peace.